Hey, 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 it is Thursday. Um, See what Josh is saying. This is what happens when, okay, Josh wants to know where did I move. Uh -uh. That's private information. Remember, the title of my first book is called Hell in Houston for a Reason. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> okay. That's it for Joshua. I got to get back to business, right? Right, that's what I have all day. So I'm going to put on here, do not disturb. Do not disturb me. All right, so this is what we're doing today. It is the 48 Laws. If you watch my other video, it was on um, the 142 Rules of Mod. Um, that the Ten Commandments, Moses uh, borrowed from the rules of Ma to do the uh, Ten Commandments. So anyway, this is the 48 Laws of Power list. Okay. I'm studying. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. Number one, never outshine the master. Do not showcase your superior talents or it will make those above you dislike you. That's a hard one. Uh, number two, never put too much trust in friends. Use your enemies. Friends will envy and resent you. Turn into frenemies and plot against you. Turn your enemies into allies instead. Doesn't say how. <laughs> Um, conceal your intentions. Never say what you're really up to. Number four, in other words, lie. Number four, always say less than necessary. That's one of the rules. Powerful people impressed by talking less. Number five, protect your reputation at all costs. Reputation is the cornerstone of power. If you want to destroy someone, attack their reputation. So, um, This one is a hard one for me because I really feel like that's a telltale sign. When you hear somebody say, uh, we have to protect the family name and stuff like that, that immediately tells me there's skeleton, some horrible skeletons in the closet. Okay. Law six. You know, let me know what y'all think about that. Protecting your reputation. If you're always doing what you're supposed to do, even if someone attacks your reputation, when it come out in the wash, 
All right? And the people who want to believe bad things about you, they're going to believe bad things about you, whether it's confirmed or not. Right? But um, other people, they're going to do their research. And they're going to know. And the person who was trying to th throw mud on you, remember when they dig in their hand to grab that mud to sling on somebody else, it gets on them as well. Remember that. Okay. It says, court attention at all costs. That's number six. Stand out from the crowd. This is anti-Asian. In the Asian culture, they don't want to stand out, but they want to um, have everybody the same. Okay. Number seven, get others, get others to do the work for you, but you take all the credit. I'm not going to say nobody, <laughs> but a lot of people do that. <clears throat> do what most bosses do. Use your team, but present the result as if it happened because as if it happened because of them. I think that they've got... Um, that mixed up as far as the wording, uh, get others to do the work for you, but take the credit. A lot of people do that. Um, if you're working for their company and you create something, they take credit for it and they don't let people know that it was you. Okay. Law eight, make people come to you. Avoid chasing people, but make others approach you and ask you for favors. Law number nine, win through actions, never through arguments. Law 10, don't get infected by misery and misfortune. Avoid the losers and complainers. Associate with the happy and the winners. Number 11, like I'm going to give you an example. My next door neighbor smokes weed all the time. Um, they're a total loser. There's no way that they can pass any kind of a drug test or anything like that. And they have a reputation of being a pothead. So... When I'm looking for people to work with me on projects, I will not be knocking on their door. <laughs> ah, but when the police are looking for someone that they need to arrest that definitely is in possession and probably is doing a lot more than smoking weed, I will be the one at the meeting saying, you need to look at, I will be pointing and, um, which will give me uh, kudos with law enforcement and increase my territory. <laughs> ah, okay. Law 11, learn to keep people dependent on you. Um, somebody that I know who is very evil, they keep people dependent on them by not um, helping them to be independent and self-sufficient. They keep them dependent on them. They don't want them to earn money. They don't want them to use their talents. They don't want them to have loving relationship because they want to keep these people dependent on them. Okay. Law 12, use selective honesty and generosity to disarm your victim. One act of honesty will cover a dozen of dishonest ones. First, Make them trust you. Then you deceive them big. I don't know if these are the laws of power or laws of the devil. Let's keep going. Law Let me know what you think down below. Law 13. Get help by appealing to self-interest, never to their mercy. <laughs> if you need help, don't remind people of a past good you've done for them. Instead, find what's in it for them today. Law 14, pose as a friend, work as a spy, gather intelligence and learn people's secrets by getting close to them. Law 15, crush your enemy totally. Law 16, raise your value through absence and scarcity. Don't be too present. Create value through scarcity and absence. Law 17, keep others in suspended terror. Cultivate an air of unpredictability. I think this is what uh, somebody's doing right now. <laughs> Let me know who comes to your mind.
and I'll tell you if, it, if you're thinking of the same person I am. Okay. Predictability makes you an easy target. Make your moves more random. Become more unpredictable. Law 18, don't isolate yourself behind a fortress. Isolation is dangerous and cuts you off from information. Mingle with the people instead. Law 19, know who you're dealing with. Pick good targets and don't cross the wrong people. Law 20, do not commit to anyone. Maintain your independence as long as possible. Um, what did I say? Law 21, play a sucker to catch a sucker. Seem dumber than your mark. Um, seem dumber than you really are and your opponent will lower his guard. Law 22, use the surrender tactic. Don't fight until the bitter end, but surrender and regroup. Okay, so that's of the 42, 48 laws of power. That was law 22, and I'll be back with 23 through 48. All right, let me know what you think down below. Bye.